There we go. God, you two are already at it. Hi, both. Got Andrew and Ads. I think I'm just going to leave you two to chat. I think I think you two are just going to go off on one. I think um, Andrew wants to be a spanner, and I think he has to earn the spanner right until until then we're gonna have to wait for that let me see what's going on right okay i haven't done a live haul uh, or even on youtube ever so bear with me i've done it oh dear see this is why i like to do videos because i can edit that bit out i like to do um proper videos better but Hey ho, I've done Instagram lives, but you know, who have we got? Uh, Flippin' Fantastic Finds, hello. Yep, it is Louise, I am Louise, that is my name. Um, Ad, do you want to be a spanner? Well, you know, again, you're going to have to see that. Until you can actually guess what KLC stands for, then I'll give you a spanner. I think that's a fair swap, to be honest. Hi, Maria. Hi Chris, hi Bumble Bumblebee, I haven't seen you around. Okay, so I've got six bags of stuff. This is literally the C's clothing, the Eloise. Maybe. The K is my first name, Louise is my first name. I don't have a middle name either, so don't even think about that. So you will never guess what the K is. You will never guess what the K is, honestly. Okay, yeah, so I've got six bags. It's all clothing, so um, if you're not into clothing, then you probably want to switch off, or unless I'm just sat in the background whilst you're listing away. It's all good. K is for killing. Of course it's for killing. Of course it is, because i absolutely killing it. Um, if you saw my Instagram story earlier, I spent £53 in one shop earlier. These two bags here. I don't know I spent £53 on to be honest. I don't know. I don't know. Killing Louise clothes. Yeah, let's just pretend it's that. That's a bit weird. Um <laughs> first. So this is the first place here. Um I'm hoping this is gonna go better than Steve's Lair haul yesterday because I don't know. Poor him. He didn't have a very good time with his little haul yesterday. Um so as always I went with my dad. My dad's brilliant. He sort of goes off on one I sort of tell him all the different brands and he kind of goes right I know what I'm looking for and then he'll come over with a big load of hangers and um and yeah it's all, it's all good for that so you come over with a load of shirts first one is this uh Tom Hilfiger shirt size it's size extra large just a plain yellow shirt nothing special about it um just got the Tom Hilfiger logo on the front and then also don't, really don't know if you're going to be able to see this now at all. all my face is in the way no you can't see that but yeah so this time we'll figure it on the buttons as well um i don't know where i'm going to put all of these i'm going to end up just throwing it somewhere because i've got no room this is such a tiny room in one of my next videos you're going to be able to see how big this or how little this space is um also, I apologise if the, I don't know if is the quality any good. You're on my phone, so I don't know if this is any good. I tried to do it on my laptop, but it looks like I'm filming from a potato, so I don't know if the quality is any good on that one. Um, DKMY shirt. Quality is spot on, good. Good sound and picture, we he? Because it's oh oh, then it goes blurry. Look at that. Uh, DKMY um, shirt. I didn't I didn't know much about this you know obviously DK was quite a big brand but I just didn't know if it really sells but it says DK and what I really don't know why I'm bothering with this but it says DK and one of the buttons I could have painted my nails as well couldn't I really um yeah so give that a go I paid I don't even know how much I paid for this one £2.95 so I paid three quid for it so can't go wrong with that these are literally getting thrown on the floor Oh yeah, uh, I think it's another shirt. He literally, he came over. Oh yeah, there we go. Fred Perry. So <laughs> Fred Perry uh, shirt. Fred Perry. 
all over as always I don't know why but today I just said to him I said any shirt you pick up can you make sure that all the buttons are there I haven't had an issue with buttons and you know what literally as I've said that hang on let me just line this up let me just line this up oh balls <laughs> literally the first one it's missing a button does it have any spares and it has no damn spares either i paid three quid for it anyway i think three quid oh four quid on that one someone wants to up the price on that one in comparison for one less button <sighs> i even double checked that it had all the buttons had all the buttons as well uh this one now if you'd seen my haul video my last haul video that i did i've picked up a jacques Furt mother of the bride outfit with the hat and the fascinator and all that sort of stuff um which actually got 10 watches on on eva at the moment so i'm just like come on somebody buy it um so i'm quite taking it from that taking that inspiration from that and i found um just this dorothy perkins dorothy perkins petite so oh god i can't, really can't see that it's terrible uh dorothy perkins petite's jacket ray little blazer with jackety thing and the matching dress so hoping i mean again see now with my actual videos that i normally do i can then go oh i've done a bit of research this is how much i literally have got home about half an hour ago so i have no idea what any of these are going to go for so i'm not even going to bother trying to tell you that uh paid 7.95 for the set i really didn't know whether to get it or not because it's an eight size eight petite i really didn't know if that was going to be any good good <laughs> yeah whatever i'm gonna try I'm gonna give it a go I'm gonna give it a go i don't know if i can see all the chat that's going on <laughs> let's have a look oh god just you like having a having a wonder well jade found my first and other stories i've never found them I've never found them found my first and other stories no haven't found them yet been looking for them way see this is how don't poke your phone too hard <laughs> uh again the same chat uh if anybody are you on the top chat a live chat i'm not doing an ads where it's kind of halfway up the chat still I'm, I'm trying to keep up to the to the chat i am taking it from the inspiration from that um if anybody knows anything about this brand please do let me know i'd seen somebody put a picture up of their label the other day um i don't know whether they were saying because it's good or what but i picked it up when i saw it it cost me 4.95 Oh, let me make sure I got it the right way. Henry Holland. I was going to do a bit of research before I bought it, before I spent five quid on it, but I, I don't know. But I thought it was quite cute either way, because it's got like this, like, I don't even know. It's red swirls. So looks like sweets. I don't know if you remember those. Oh, God, no, I don't even know what they're called now. They were like these little tiny sweets that looked like this back in the day. Um, I think it began with a C. Oh, God, I can't remember what they're called now. No, I can't remember. They're like, oh no, that's going to bother me now. I'll find out. But yeah, that's what they look like. And if anybody knows what I'm talking about, tell me <laughs> because I can't think what it is. It was like a little boiled sweet um, and it was like strawberries and cream or something like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I spent five quid on that. Henry Holland can't help but not follow the chat i have a medical condition it's called rambling yeah yeah don't we know ads hey uh shirt that won't shift that's a bit poop i think i've got another one <laughs> a bit as well oh well uh phase eight now i'm slightly steering away from phase eight because there was a few stuff that i saw today that was just cambino chloe you you know what can i do it on here uh oh no i can't do it i don't know how to do it on here you i was, I was gonna make you a spanner but well done. Chloe Tyler, you're a superstar. There you go. Um, yeah, so I've gone off of phase eight a little bit because I find that some things sell, some things don't sell. So I only really pick it up if it just looks a bit more special. Um, I've paid 6 95 for it. 
If I do repeat myself, by the way, just just ignore me because I don't really know what else much to say about that. Um, just a plain purple with this white feathery thing uh, on the side. I don't know. Yeah, so I don't know. Feathers like can go quite well, sort of 30, 40 quid. Some of them can just sell for like two quid, probably a bit more than that. No, Campino is not the seat. It's going to be. <laughs> Hi, Richard. Nice to see you. Um, I need to stop buying jeans, to be honest, because um, I bought too many jeans. I literally spent, I took 140 odd photos the other day of jeans and I've just finished uploading them and missed now on eBay even. So, but yeah, I bought some more jeans anyway. Just a couple more jeans. Right, it's from the same shop. This is still my £53 lot. Um, okay, this isn't a pair of jeans, but um, Liverpool FC top. It's got the this side, even let's try doing it properly. It's got the whatever you call it hologram there and the hologram inside, so you know it's official. Keeping Louise cheerful it sounds, sounds literally, it sounds spot on that one does £3.45 for that it's a size I think it's an XL double XL even yeah double XL yeah the L is Louise and the C is clothing but you will never ever guess what the K is ever um yeah so happy with that okay so jeans wise now I'm gonna show you them first these ones bench brand new with tags pair of bench jeans they've kind of got that twisted leg have they sort of got like a twisted leg sort of design Ooh, out of focus then yeah weird zip pockety things i feel weird like a rubber <laughs> yeah, i'm telling you you will never unless you know me and you've known me for years you will never know what it is yeah so bench all over the place and brand new with tags here's the tag doesn't have the price on the tag so i don't know how much it was originally but yeah i paid a fiver for them 4.95 so happy with that so then catherine no it's not a name it's not um, an actual name, if that makes sense. That would be the mystery. Now, I saw these and straight away, because they were hung up like that on the rack, and straight away, if for any of you people that know anything about clothing, ooh, selvage. So they are selvage jeans. So if you, um, if you see this on a pair of jeans, they're selvage, and they usually do go for a lot more. So um, a normal pair of jeans, for those of you that don't know, I feel like I'm teaching you a lesson here. <laughs> For a normal pair of jeans, you'd have like it's stitching around the side, and even you'd have it like that, or you'd have it sort of like that as well. You'd have it sort of stitching on either side, or a selvage is where you've got it sort of flat like that. Oh my lord! Hello, focus. There we go. Stitching like that, and then like sort of this this. Um, material sort of stitching on the side that's a selvage um and these never heard of them usually you get you see that if you see that selvage on levi's you're on for a winner but this <laughs> i don't know i don't know what this is like that is the label on the back <laughs> it's by evisu Again, never heard of them at all. Never heard of them. Do you realize how tiny they are? Literally tiny. Jesus Christ, how small are they? Apparently, they're made in Italy. That little design there doesn't tell me that it's been made in Italy, but hey ho. Uh, 26. Ooh, 26 waist. Tiny. Jesus Christ. So, yeah, pick them up say because they were selvage i looked on ebay i did actually look on ebay for this one at the time and they go for about 30 odd quid so happy with that i paid a whopping 2.95 
Bargain. Bargain. So, King Louise's clothing. That sounds a bit weird. That's a bit weird. Kitten. It could be kitten, but it's not kitten. But I like your thinking. That, that's, that's some better thinking than whatever anyone else is coming up with. Uh, then I saw... I paid, how much did I pay? Four ninety five for these. Woo. Four ninety five. Oh my lord. Four ninety five for them. And it is that same brand, that Evisu. However, these come with the tags. It's crazy. Tough tailored for extra wear, unchangeable. I don't know. I don't think anyone would have heard of these, surely. Private stock for maniacs. Don't know but these aren't salvage and they're a 30 ball waist as well so that's a bit more of a better standard size but yeah never heard of them but still they go for brand new tags sort of 30 40 quid don't know. massive egg bloody hell andrew these will fit you my days it's like <laughs> really long kosher <laughs> oh uh it's no it's not reselling uh, recelerated related even uh, no there are 31 31 so yeah all that then everything there that i was mumbling on about that all there cost me 53 pound although i think i bought something else which wasn't to be sold i don't know i don't know then i found a one pound place again if you'd seen my instagram oh my lord if you'd seen my instagram you would have seen that i found several um <laughs> yeah that's true the other ones they were 26 waist that was just ridiculous, that was ridiculous. yeah so i found this uh pound place i found several um i found one one pound one one three pound and under one and something else as well hi alan Nice to see ya. Um, oh God, actually. You know when you go sourcing and you kind of think, does it, and they go, oh, do you need a bag? And you think, nah, I'll stuff it in here. Yeah, that's what I did here. Is that all it should be? Yeah, it was from the one place. Fair enough. I was doubting myself and thinking that's a good boy. Um, now, again, those of you who watch my videos are going to just probably tut at me because... I bought a coat. <laughs> I literally, I've got a basket right in front of me, right here, which is probably, I don't know, two, three foot high, full of coats. Full of coats. But when you see a coat for one pound, that is 100% wool. You can't just walk past it. It's from, oh my lord, it's heavy. It's from Eastex. Um, I don't really know much about the brand. I've, heard, I've seen them everywhere but never really bought them so yeah 100 percent pure wool oh my days come on no you want to focus 100 percent pure wool sod it just take my word for it um but it's got this quite nice little black pipe in here um and all the buttons are here as well do double check that I bought a coat once from a place which and it cost me £2. It was a nice big red Zara one, but it had a line. I had to make sure that I've got to double check them all. Uh, the time in the gym is paying off, I tell you. I'm getting absolutely henny. I'm getting there. Been there this morning already. That's why I have my hair's in a bun because I can't be bothered to. My hair goes in a bun when I go out sourcing as well because the wind and fluffing around my hair. If you watch my other videos, I'm forever doing this <laughs> and i'm aware that i do that when i'm re-editing my videos i'm like stop touching your hair um but so i thought you know what so i'm just gonna leave it in my bun um yeah well andrew you you kind of sort of behaving you're not you know you're not sort of quite there yet you know we'll see henny you don't know what henny means oh man you need to be more brummy Gotta be henny. Hench. That's what cool kids say, ads. You're not cool kid, clearly. Uh, from this pound place again. So yeah, I paid a pound for that coat. Any bras? No. You know what? See, 
Hello, by the way. I was actually going to send a photo to you saying, oh my God, I think I found your jackpot. But no bras. I was going to pick some up for you. I was. Just for you. Um, This one here, I saw this skirt and it's got this like sequiny thing on it. It's quite pretty. It's from Next, I believe. It's from Next. No idea what size it is. Jesus Christ. Oh, size 8. Size 8. What do you mean you wouldn't want to be cool? That's complete rubbish. Complete rubbish. Um, sort of, I'm doing a bit where I just stare into the middle of nowhere. Um, and then it comes with a top. I don't know why I showed you the label, bloody hell. Let's try it on. Ooh. Comes with a little corset top thing. So you've got a matching skirt with it. And both of them be poundy, but it's still got the tags. And just for that top, it was 32 quid. 33 quid even. 33 quid just for the top. The bottom doesn't have a tag on it, so I'm not really sure. So are there any brummy terms that it's nothing to do with a brummy term? It's literally you wouldn't want to be cool. Okie dokie. <laughs> K is not a place. Literally, I can't even give you a clue. Okay, I give actually the clue I can give you. Um, it's two characters from my favourite game. There you go. Um, front pound place again. I've got this rugby top, and I thought because it's sort of rugby season, I've got an England rugby shirt. Um, and I think it had again got the little hologram in the corner okay, no, it's not okay. <laughs> that's a bit weird it's not kelly it's not a name um another one i picked up from the pound place is this rab coat i don't know it looks like a kid's coat I'm not quite sure it's somebody's clearly a bit too special and done it up wrong and it wasn't me um Oh dear. I can't see. Because I feel like it's a kid's coat. Ah, no, it's not. It's a women's coat. It's a size 12. Woohoo. Yeah, so they figured out that Louise, well, L is for Louise and C is for clothing. But nobody knows what the case stands for. I really know that. Yeah, you can get a spanner if you guess it right. Even though I don't know how to give you a spanner. Not on my phone anyway. It's probably an easy way, but I don't know. Again, pound place, um, a Jacques Vert um, blazery thing jacket. And again, sticking to that mother of the bride thing. Um, I've already got a Jacques Vert jacket in there as well, which has had some views. It's got some watches on it as well, so hoping that goes. And then picked up two times Krispy Kreme. That'd be a bit weird. Oh, you did you try to put it into the chat, Andrew? And it wouldn't allow you to put it in. I'm a bit worried to know what it is now. Um, got some ties. If again, if you watch my previous haul videos, I picked up 15 ties in my previous video. Um, I don't know why, to be honest. I really don't know why, but they're a pound each in most places. So uh, I picked them up and I'm going to do like a bundle with them. You wasn't allowed to type for the next two minutes. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. What was the clue? A name from your favourite video game. Um, you can't see them up there. That up there with my pop figure. Oh, you can't see them at all, can you? I might even take them down. Because there's stuff balancing on top of them. Maybe later. But yeah, that's my favourite. It's also just come out on the PlayStation, come out 29th of January. I've waited 13 years for it. Anyway, so I picked up some ties because I can bundle them together with my, oh dear, with my 15 other ties that I've got in here. However, I did pick up some more ties afterwards. Oh dear, I feel like that's going to fall. Is that going to fall off? No, we're all good. Who said what then? 
So it's a Funko Pop character. <laughs> Steve, you're just coming out with some random stuff now. Ads, you're on it. You are on it. I don't know what what's Andrew's going on about. Um, so that was it from the pound place, um, and then everything else was a bit meh kind of places. But I still picked up a few good stuff. Um, paid three quid for this monsoon dress. Again, monsoon can be a bit hit and miss, but three quid. Kingdom Louise clothing, no, no, no. Um, and also then another two toys. Paid ninety nine p each for these two toys. I only pick up the silk ones. Um, it's not so much anime, it's um, Kingdom Hearts is a mix between Disney and Final Fantasy. So, yeah. But yeah, everything that every tie that I pick up, Jesus Christ, you can't see it. I'm going to try. Um, everyone I pick up, it's I buy a silk one and uh, then bundle them together. Oh, Apple Jade Studio. Getting somewhere. And Chris, you're getting somewhere. It's not Kyrie, but you're getting somewhere. It's nobody's actually, it's not the actual name. It's not, no, it's not Kyrie. It's not Kyrie. Not only, anyway. Oh dear. So, <laughs> God. Um, this one, this was the pound place as well. Kyrie loves clothes. Steve, you're just coming out with some stuff. You're just coming out with some random stuff. It's something to do with Kyrie. But, you know, it's not just. Um, yeah, so I went into a pound place. This was originally £5.50. But it went down to a pound. So this is that Henry Holland again. And way up. Ooh. Yeah, Kyrie is the only Kyrie. To be that's what I'm saying. It's not, it's not Kyrie. Keyblade, we're getting somewhere. It's not Kyrie, it's not another to do with Keyblade. It's a mix of two characters. <laughs> no, it's not Keyblade. Um, another one is this River Island dress. Again, originally eight quid. It's quite a nice little dress. Oh, Jesus. It's got this little peplum skirt on the side. I don't usually go for River Island so I don't really feel like I can get much off it, but um, for a quid. Gee, I can't go wrong with that. I don't know why I've decided to go. Oh, oh, Andrew, you're literally like this close. This close. Aqua, no, you no, ads, you're going completely off it now. K, we're looking for K, not A. Um, Debenhams collection really big long red dress no andrew you were closer you were closer i'll show you what it looks like on my business cards once i've uh i have done this yes that copy pound um i feel like this this haul is just me talking to myself and then you like trying to just guess my name oh man this is a size six Damn it. Don't usually pick up size sixes. Nope. 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 <laughs> I'm showing you it's a pound. No, it's a pound. Warehouse dress. Um, nothing special about it, but yeah, there's that one. Um, and then found another load of toys. <laughs> not, not Kyrie Vicky. You were correct with Kyrie and Sora. But it's not Kyrie Sora, Louise clothing. Yeah. Um, this bundle, I don't know how many I've got here. I tell you, this is what happens when people go live. Completely goes off the topic. Unless you, of course, because, you know, that's just completely on topic where everyone just sits and talks about bras. Um, yeah, I picked up these ties again. Nothing special about them, I don't think. Um, again, my dad just went, oh, they're silk, they're silk, they're silk. Um, I'll show you a bit, ads, calm down. 
You'll find out in a bit. Kevin loves cabbage. There we go. That's it. It's all that matters. All that matters. Um, yeah, nothing special about these. One, two, three, four, five, God, six, seven, eight, nine from this place. But I did a Tommy Hilfiger one from this place. And also... On the tigger. Don't look at her. That's just you just go in off a, off a complete thing. I'm surprised that she was letting you to type that in. I these I am trying to sell these ties. Yeah, I'm gonna bundle them up. I've got 15 that I bought pre. Well, actually, I think I got 17 in there now because I bought some more. Um, I got 17 ties there. I picked up two earlier and I picked up another nine there. And then I went into another place, needed to stop really, and picked up some more. Um, these, I bought another nine, because remember these were nine. And he said, oh, it, it's um, on the label, it said it's two, no, three for two pound. So I took him over, took him over there and he goes, oh, your ties, how many have you got? I said, I've nine. And he goes, oh, three quid. So I'm like, go, go, three quid. So I paid three quid for all of these ties. Um, one of them being a cute little Wallace and Gromit one. Yeah, it's polyester that one is, but it's still quite cute. Uh, this one I quite liked as well from this place. <laughs> yes, that is what happens. Steve, you know what? You are the champion. You are the number one champion. Oh, it is silk as well. It's got little guitars in it, but it's quite cute. I feel like I'm completely, completely, um, this is completely useless now, me talking about this, because Steve's going to be like, I'm buzzing. Um, yep, yeah, and I also picked up a Hugo Boss tie. What does it sound there? £10. Who was trying to sell it for £10? Shush, got it in a bundle. Um, I also picked up a Ted Baker tie and i think oh pierre cardin yeah all the rest of them are just like a load of a load of rubbish then oh got another pierre cardin yeah just random fox and chave never heard of them but yeah picked up a lot more ties it's not kia aura that's one thing that i will make sure it is clear it is not kia aura I think I've got more. Jeez, I don't know. I've just got them dumped all my clothes over there. I have. This is my last bag, actually, you know. Oh, and it's got one thing in it. That was a bit disappointing, wasn't it? Bloody hell. Oh, I'll waffle through them. Uh, the last one. Oh, I'm trying not to create too much bag noise. I can't imagine that's really good for anybody's ears. This. <laughs> under the coat um this coat again blokes if you know anything about this brand do let me know um scott 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 um size large but when i looked uh, my dad looked at the comps because you know i taught him well uh he looked at the comps on those and they were going sort of 20 30 pound something like that um yeah it's really heavy and really quite good sportswear brand oh it's not a sports coat but yeah whatever um all right where have i put those any any person that watched my first first youtube video would have seen these so and you would have had the answer on there straight away Kyora is uh, just the mix of Sora and Kyrie. That's all it is. Doesn't mean anything. It's something that I have called myself since I was, I don't know, 13, something like that. So it's just stuck with me. But there you go, not lying to you. God, Kyora Louise clothes. I can't really see that's terrible thing. That's my little business card. 
so yeah there you go that's it come up to all them six bags out in 35 minutes i think that's all i bought doesn't feel like a lot now but my re my room's now a mess so lately i watch doctor who i used to watch it with david tennant and matt smith and then I, it just lost me i just couldn't be bothered with it to be honest so yeah i don't really watch it anymore It just feels like I've got to catch up. You are the champion, Steve. Team Steve, all the way. I'm completely on your side now. Not like I wasn't anyway, but now 100%. So, yeah, that's it. If anyone wants to ask me any questions or whatever, go for it. But other than that, I've got some stock taking to do. But I kept on through Matt Smith. Quite enjoyed Matt Smith and then... When it was some old bloke, I was like, well, I can't look at you and you know, that sort of way now, can I? Um, he won't, Chris, not if we're all stood behind him, champion him on. Exactly, Team Steve. I mean, you're welcome to just stay and watch me drink my last little bit of cup of tea, but... But, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like, I feel like I've... You, you are going to just end up chatting anyway. I know, I know, but I never watched it back then. And you literally watched it at the end of Christopher What's His Face. Him, yeah. I can I can hear you ads twitching at me, going, oh, oh. but yeah, I watched it at the end with him, near the end. Then it went to David Tennant, and then I was like, oh, hello. And then I, uh, stuck around for matt smith and didn't like him initially i was like what is what what are you and then carried on watching it enjoyed it quite liked him and then when peter capaldi come about i was like yo not my kind of person anyway i think i'm gonna leave it there because i'm getting hungry what time is it 20 to 5 that's not bad. Not bad at all. Mm. Yep. I think that is everything. God, I feel like I'm missing a bag. I don't think I am. I just bought a load of ties. So, I'm going to the Bristol meetup next month. Um, it is next month, isn't it? I need to book a hotel still. Going to the Bristol meetup next month and then also going to the Wolverhampton meetup in May as well. So if anybody is around or wants to go or isn't going, but whatever, then um, then yeah, come along. Um, I'll be there anyway. And uh, and yeah, it'd be nice to see some of you. I know a fair few people who are going already, but obviously the more the merrier. I need to as I say, I need to book myself a hotel though. So um, yeah, I don't know what to do. Premier window or something though, so, um, but do I really want people to uh, to know where I'm staying? I don't know. I don't know. Hi, Ocean. That's Wendy. Hi, Wendy. I'm gonna. If you're not Wendy, I'm gonna call you Wendy anyway. Because um, yeah, we've put Wendy. Unless your name's Wendy or Windy. I don't know. So anyway, yeah. I think if I stay any longer, I think. Ads and Andrew is going to chat forever to themselves. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not definitely not going to be telling people what I'm saying. So I don't need people following me. But, uh, but yeah, I know there is a premium room next door, but it's just I'm a reseller. You know, everything's going to be cheap. So shush, won't be, won't be premium in anyway. Um, I'll find somewhere at some point. So, yeah, anyway, I am going now because you lot are just waffling on. Thank you, Alan. I shall see you soon. Stick as always. It, it was, it is Wendy. That's good. Sorry, Wendy. I think you've lost, you've missed most of it. It was a 40 minute or 35 minute ish haul video. Um, but everyone else just, just chatting for the last five minutes. So, 
hey ho. Anyway, I am going to leave it there because I have got plenty to do. I've got I'm literally anything that doesn't have a letter next to it here still needs to be done. Um, and there's so much. There's literally like five pages of this. I've still off my just just sit on in, on uh, Wikipedia. That's absolutely fine. So yeah. Enjoy the pub. See you get. Oh, see, this is why I like to edit. <laughs> see you guys later. Thank you very much for joining in. Now I've got to try and figure out how to uh, stop this video. That's going to be interesting. Do we just click the X? Do we just click the X? I don't know.